Joe Wilson in this b****. And before I get started on this video, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Kalai Hair. If y'all don't know, I am always forever repping for Kalai hair. They have the best hair. They be having me slayed literally all the time. They just be having me feeling myself and I be like, new Dama, who this? Why did I just do that thing? Why? But if you don't know who Kalai hair is, it's the brand that I'm always forever rocking. So make sure you go click the link in my bio and go get your hair now. They be having giveaways, they be having competitions. So make sure y'all go follow them on Instagram. Make sure y'all go follow their YouTube channel. If you wanna be twins with me, then just click the link in the bio. Go get your straight hair, go get the bone straight hair. A lot of people ask like, what kind of stuff do they have on the website? They have curly, they have straight, they have wavy, they got wigs, they got sew-ins, they got whatever you need. Their hair is so bomb and I wouldn't steer you wrong. So go get the hair. Thank you Kalai Hair for sponsoring this video. I might switch it up, I might go wavy. As y'all know, I sometimes be rocking the curly, but you know, I'm overall like the straight look but go click on the link in my bio thank you Kalai hair for sponsoring this video let's get into it so hi guys it's me Damo what's up I have been gone for a few days I've been taking this little break Dominic has had appointments back to back to back to back so I have been so busy but I missed you guys hi if you have not watched my last video go watch it it's very important I'm not gonna say too much about it but if you have not watched it go watch it and it is very 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 important i do not want you guys to miss this opportunity and i've been reading the comments and it just like brings tears to my eyes it's just so heartbreaking but so wonderful that i'm able to even do this so go go watch the video to see what i'm talking about and yeah but anyways ever since that i have came out as bisexual to the public everybody miraculously wants to know what about your first boyfriend what happened with your first boyfriend first boyfriend oh my god oh my god story time story time and i told this story before i'm not gonna sit here and lie and sugarcoat stuff but for those of you guys who've never heard the story What's up? You about to hear it? And if you have heard and you like Damo, I don't want to hear this shit. Then I'll see you in the next video, okay? You can exit. I won't be mad, okay? But right now, I'm about to tell you the story about my first boyfriend. So there was this boy, and <laughs> we're gonna name him. We're gonna name him Antonio. Just like the last time. We're gonna name him Antonio. And he was my first boy crush though I thought I loved and all that, you know. And I was about nine years old. Nine years old with a whole man. Where was my focus, first of all? It's probably why I was fell in school. I'm nine years old in love. Or what I thought was love. Hey, um, Antonio, I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait till we have kids. My fast ass. No, I wasn't having sex or nothing like that. It was all talk. It was all like, oh, I can't wait to settle down with you. He'd be like, you're my princess. He would always call me his princess. Like, we're young. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, is this gonna be my man? Is this gonna be my husband? Like, we were just too grown. To, to when I, we weren't really, we, it was like a little adolescence love. Cause we never had sex or nothing like that. We barely talked about it. We didn't, I didn't even know what sex was to be honest. I was a very innocent child. Cause most children nowadays, they be knowing about sex. And it's like, where's your mother? But anyways, long story short, I had a boyfriend. I was nine, I believe he was 10 because he was a grade above me. So I was in fourth grade and he was in fifth. You know, I date him older. <laughs> I was just joking. Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, and it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up, but I was nine, okay? Don't judge me for my past, all right? I was nine. 24 now, okay? But my friend originally had a crush on him. That's how I even found out who he was. And my school was so small because I went to a military private school. It was like the same people dating the same people. Like, first you're gonna get him, then I'm gonna get him, and then she's gonna get him. It was like a group of like five boys and all the girls dated them. Now that I think about it, when I'm older, it's like, what was wrong with... Did nine year old us not have any morals? Ladies, I remember who you are and we all did the same guy. What was wrong with us? Is that, that was that was our worth, huh? That's when we was like, oh, dude, this is what we gonna put up with. Shame, shame, no, I was joking. Um, so my friend originally had a crush on him and she told me about it and I started looking at him like, oh. Mm. So she had asked me to ask him, did he like her back? So I asked him, I walked up to him and he was just like so fine. And I couldn't breathe, you know what I'm saying? This was like my first like, <sighs> where I'm like, yo, is this love at first sight, is it? And so I asked him and he said no, that he did not like her. And so I think I told one, I don't really remember the full story, so I might be jumbling stuff up, but I'm pretty sure I asked one of my friends to ask him if he liked me. And long story short, he said yeah. So I'm skipping down the hallways, feeling like a bad bitch at nine. I'm like, like, oh, what's up, Miss Nancy? Hello, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> like, something was literally wrong with me. Like, long story short, he would always write me notes telling me how much he loved me, how much he wanted to marry me, how special I am, and stuff like that. Like, like such cute stuff that you don't think that 
a young, you know, 10 year old boy would even be singing to a little nine year old girl. It was just cute. And I was like, wow, you know, I've never had this before. I remember thinking like, this is gonna last forever. We're gonna be able to tell our kids this. And it didn't last. I remember when my mama found out that I was dating him. Mind you, we were young. We were so young. We dated for a couple years, a few years. Wasn't nothing never serious. But anyways, let me go back. I know I'm jumbling. I remember my mama found out she was so mad. She told me I could not talk to him no more. She told me I was growing up too fast. Like, mom, I love him. This is forever. You're gonna regret this because we're gonna be together forever and I'm gonna see him. Kinda like that scene out of Selena where her dad was like, no, you are not about to see him. And she was like, yeah, Diddy, yes I am. I'm about to see him because I love him and he loved me. And guess what? We wanna get married. And he's like, oh no, you not. You fire. You know, to the to the boyfriend. He was like, no, you fire. And she was like, dad, you can't do this. He was like, I can't do, you know, it was kind of like that, but like, I'm scared of my mama. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really say all that, but I was like, mom, please, come on. It's just a boy, it's just a little boy crush. Not like I'm throwing it back. You can't just let me have a little boyfriend, huh? This is what we doing now? You're not gonna let me have no boyfriend. I was really sad, I'm not gonna lie. But then we would secretly see each other at school and stuff. Fast forward like one or two years and the girl that originally liked him, when she told me to ask him does he like her back and he said no, he started liking her. And that was karma for my ass. That was just literally my karma coming back for me. Because when all the other little girls was growing booty and titties and you know, just voluptuous, I'm still built like a sack of nickels. I have no butt, I had no titties, I had nothing. All I had was my heart, that's all I had. And that's not what he wanted. So the girl, she was literally feeling out nice. She had a nice little figure and I'm like, mom, when am I gonna grow? All the girls were literally bouncing out and I'm still, I'm built like a little boy. So he eventually started, you know, dating her again. <laughs> but he started dating her again and I'm pretty sure they dated for like a couple weeks. And I don't know what really happened after that. So I was in fourth grade when I started dating him. We broke up about my seventh, eighth grade year, something like that. So yeah, that was like my first boyfriend. I thought I was gonna marry him. I thought we were gonna be together forever. I have not talked to him in so long. He's probably watching this video like this girl is crazy and I love her. No, I'm just joking. But um, I don't know where he is now. I remember doing a video and I was like, do y'all want me to find him and interview him and stuff like that? And y'all was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But honestly, like I'm awkward. That wouldn't even work out. We'd be both sitting there staring at each other like, why am I here? What's the purpose of this? And I'd be like, you're right. Let's go home. I mean, let's, you go to your house, I go to mine because obviously we don't live together. You know what, I don't even know where I was going with this. But yeah, that's the story of my first boyfriend. There was this boy and he became my boyfriend. Then he became nothing. But he was literally like the most sweetest boy. And I'm just like, who raised you? Cause his mom was amazing too. She was like so goofy. I never met her, but we'd talk on the phone sometimes on when I was younger. But she was super cool about the fact that we were dating Um, and we were so young. She was like cool as hell and I was shocked. Cause if I would've told my mom we were dating, she would've been like, oh no. My mom found out just by going through my phone. Had a little flip phone. Caking it up in my room, little nine adolescence demo. Oh my god, you're so sexy. I can't wait till I see you at school and we get to hold hands for three seconds before going to class. So corny, so lame. It was all fun and games though, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm also jumping to another boyfriend. I had two before. Well, he wasn't my boyfriend technically, so technically I only had one. But he was a guy I was talking to. It was my freshman year of high school. And that's when I was really trying to figure myself out. I was just, my high school years was just so confusing because I was trying to figure it out. Then I was like caring what other people thought. And it was just so much. So he was the last guy I talked to. And we're gonna name him Donovan. We're gonna name him Donovan. And he was really nice too. But around that time, I was like sexually curious. No, we never had sex or nothing like that. But I was sexually curious at that time. And we'd always like explore like, let me see yours and you can see mine type shit. But I never let him see mine <laughs> but I seen his and I was like you too damn little to be that big I'm snitching no I was confusing because I'm like oh wait oh <laughs> child of God I'm a child of God I'm not looking down I'm not looking down and it was just crazy he was really cool we kissed and stuff not like but like you know what I'm saying cuz I don't, I don't know. I can't give you a reason. But like that was the last guy I talked to and here we are now, I'm not talking to anybody. But whoever God sent me or whoever God wants me to be with or explore with or whatever the case may be, whether it's female or male, I am down because I'm 24 years old and I am just a loser. I don't do nothing. Like, no, I'm just joking. I'm not a loser just cause I don't do anything. But I am like, I'm awkward. I'm scared to meet new people. I'm scared to go out and venture. I'm scared to date. I'm scared of all that because it's like, I'm just really awkward. It doesn't make sense how I'm awkward because I'm like a YouTuber and I'm always in front of the camera and I'm always like, hey, but like in real life, I feel like I'm just like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I do want to go on a date just to see what it'll be like, just to see how I would act. You know what I'm saying? It's been a very long time. I'm damn near a nun. But anyways, I'm getting off subject. This was the story time about my first boyfriend and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what other videos
would you guys like to see in the comments? I want to get really, 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 really creative with this stuff. I don't care if you think it's like the most outrazy, outright, out, <sighs> outrageous, crazy thing. I want to try it. I want to do it. Give me videos that Dominic could be in. Give me videos I could do by myself. Give me videos where I can go outside and explore and stuff like that. Give me videos I could just chill in the house and do. Whatever you guys want to see, I want to do it for you. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. Thank y'all so much for supporting my son. And thank y'all for being such lovely, supportive, and loyal loyal people. I love you guys so much and make sure you go watch my last video because it is very important and the competition ends March 3rd and I will announce the winners March 5th. Stay beautiful, stay alive, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!